Hey everybody, Dave Forehand, Dallas Arboretum. I'm in our trial garden. I want to highlight the, this large plant here that's uh, been tested. This is uh, Eucalyptus gunni. Some people call it cider gum. Uh, it's a common name for this eucalyptus. Uh, this particular variety is called silver drop, so it's a really small leaf eucalyptus. And, and uh, this is about as large as I've ever seen one. They typically are only four or five feet full grown, and people grow them as a summer annual, even though they're hardy. Uh, they'll put them in the bed for the color of the leaves. Uh, these make great cut branches too. People love to use these eucalyptus in floral arranging. And the smell itself is worth having, just this beautiful eucalyptus odor. But the bark and the trunk are really gorgeous too as they get uh, more mature. Uh, very much kind of reminds me of a Mediterranean type of uh, plant, even though this thing is native to Tasmania over there next to Australia. Uh, but it's grown around the world and temperate climates as a beautiful ornamental plant. So again, it's called silver drop eucalyptus. Uh, there are larger leaf ones. We're gonna go take a look at one in just a second here so you can see what the uh, regular uh, eucalyptus looks like as well. But uh, the silver drop is really a nice one. Let's go take a look at one more. Hey everybody, Dave Forehand. Here we are back. This is a full uh, size eucalyptus. You can see the leaves are a lot larger on this one than the uh, one we just saw. And you can see uh, this plant will get a lot bigger too. But again, this beautiful color uh, is what you love to see with the eucalyptus. really stands out in a landscape. And uh, this one, along with the others, were quite cold hardy, especially here in North Texas. Uh, so if you want to grow something that's different and unusual, try some eucalyptus at home. See you real soon.